Cyclone fans to another broadcast of Cyclone Athletics. It is Tuesday, September 14th here at Harlan Community High School Gym where your Cyclones are welcoming the Knights from Carroll Kemper to town. Should be in for a good one tonight in Hawkeye 10 volleyball play. These two teams just met three days ago over in the South Central Calhoun volleyball tournament. In that matchup, the Kemper Knights came away with the victory Two sets to none, they won 21-14 and then 21-15 to take the match. Entering tonight's contest, your Cyclones have an overall match record of 10 wins and six losses compared to 11 wins and four losses for the Kemper Knights. Cyclones are led in hitting by Zofie Hendricks. She has 121 kills so far on this season. Followed up by Claire Schmitz with 59, Lauren McLaughlin 58, Shelby Sisson with 45, and Delaney Wagner with 32. On the other side of the net, the Knights are led in hitting by uh, Kenzie Schoen with 89 kills, Franny Glenn with 84, Sophie Bating 75, Cameron Venner 75, and Casey Peter with 67. So each team has a plethora of hitters out there. Offensively, should be a, uh, a battle out there. Tonight's keys to the game is maybe not so much of what each team does, but what each team doesn't do in terms of unforced errors. We'll look at the serving percentage and uh, the number of times we have hits out of bounds. But in a game like this with two very good teams, it's going to get down to passing, passing, and passing. And what team can serve, receive the best, and uh, get the ball to their setter for the power for offensive attack that each team has. Programming brought to you by these great sponsors. Clark Arnholt State Farm Insurance and Financial. Keast Motors. Quick RX Pharmacy. Cyclone Lanes, Shelby County State Bank, United Bank of Iowa, Holly Jones Funeral Homes, KNOD Radio, Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance, and the Peterson Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex. And now we're ready for that first serve of volleyball action. Cyclones only have three home matches this season, and tonight is one of them. Kemper Knights, very, very good program when it comes to volleyball, and the Cyclones are right there with them, so we should be in for a great Hawkeye 10 match here tonight here at Harlan Community High School Gym. Like I said, we just got done playing the Knights in the South Central Calhoun Tournament three days ago where the Knights came away with the win. It was in pool play, so they were only playing to 21, and Kemper won 21-14 and 21-15. Officials are checking over the lineups for both teams. about ready to whistle ready for play. It's a white out over there in the student section tonight. First serve is going to we'll see who won the flip. I believe by the way, they're getting lined up. The Cyclones maybe won the tip. Lauren McLaughlin back there behind the service line for Harlan Community. <laughs> McLaughlin. 
McLaughlin with the first serve. Looking for a nice run, a little slide move, and there's a kill by the Knights. Cyclones didn't have that back row covered very well. One nothing Knights. Knights with the serve. Now Macy Schmitz is going to set up Zofi Hendricks. That's blocked at the net. The score is Knights 2, Cyclones 0. And back at the service line is number 2, Ashlyn Bading. Schmitz is going to get it to Sisson. Sisson pushes it over the net. Now... Kemper is going to tip it, and that is number six, Franny Glenn, 5'10 sophomore with the kill. And it's 3 0 Kemper in this first set. Baiting still at the service line for Kemper. Delaney Wegner on that right side, and there was a. Partial block and came down inbounds. Point for the Cyclones. Cyclones trail three to one on the Clark Arnhold State Farm scoreboard. Kind of a free ball over for the Cyclones. Now on the attack, Zofi Hendricks doesn't get a good swing on it. it. Was partially blocked. Cyclones trying to keep it alive. And over on that left side was number eight, Kenzie Schoen, the 5'10 senior with the kill. 4-1 is the score in favor of Kemper. Schoen with the serve, a little back set to Sisson. Push over by Schmitz. It'll be a free ball over, see what the Cyclones can do with this possession here. Outside to Hendricks, and that's blocked and inbounds. Point for the Knights, 5 1. Again, number eight, Kenzie Schoen, the 5 10 senior, serving for Kemper. Right back over to Hendricks. Hendricks roll shots it over for Harlan Community. There's going to be a a hammer there by number nine, Casey Peter. Kemper keeping it alive. Nice little rally here by both teams. Kemper on the attack, and that's Peter, and they're gonna call that four touches. Ball didn't clear the net. So four touches for Kemper, and the score is 5-2 in favor of the Knights. Madison Kiergaard serving for the Cyclones. Peter at the net for Kemper, and now Hendricks sends it over for Harlan Community. Cyclones need to make something here, a little bit out of system. Kiergaard just gets it over for the Cyclones. Blocked at the net, and they're going to call four touches again. So on that attack as well, the ball went into the net. And then next contact was the fourth touch by the Knights. 5-3 is the score. Kemper with the lead. Pushed over by Schmitz. Ball gets pushed back to the back corner. That's Musich with the dig. Now Hendricks at the net, and the kill by Zofi Hendricks gets the Cyclones within one, five to four. Kiergaard at the service line for the Cyclones. Peter with the kill. Kiergaard can't get that dug in the back row. 
6-4 Kemper is the score. As they rotate back, it's number six, Franny Glenn, the sophomore, 5'10", serving. Back set to Hendricks. Hendricks tips it over into the old donut there, the open spot, and a kill for Hendricks. Cyclones back within one, 6-5. Hendricks back to serve now for Harlan Community. And there's a nice block at the net by Claire Schmitz. And that's gonna tie things up at six apiece here in set number one. Hendricks to serve for Harlan Community. There's going to be a free ball over if it even gets there, and it doesn't. There's one of those unforced errors that we talked about in the pregame, and that has caused the Cyclones to get the first lead of the night at 7-6. to six. And there's a service error for Harlan Community. So just as we talked about unforced errors happening for Kemper, Cyclones come right back with an unforced error and allow things to be tied up seven apiece. Schmitz back sets one over the net and then right at the net is number 10, Sophie Bading, the six foot junior with the kill. Eight, seven, Knights is the score. Casey Peter doing the serving for Kemper. A little short set to Claire Schmitz. But right there at the net was number 10, Sophie Bating. So six footer down, six footer there, and Bating with the block. Comes away with the Kemper point. 9 7 is the score. Hendricks on the outside. She, or no, that was Lauren McLaughlin, excuse me. She tries sending one down the line, and it goes out of bounds. Unforced air again for the Cyclones. And it's 10-7. Back row attack by Hendricks. There's going to be a lift call on the Knights. 10-8, Cyclones within two. Macy Schmitz now back to serve for Harlan Community, and she serves one out of bounds. Again, we talked about it in the pregame. It's not what you do, it's maybe what you don't do. And the service errors and hitting out of bounds are starting to come costly here in set one as the Cyclones are down by three, 11 to eight. Clear Schmitz with a nice attack at the net was blocked by Bating. Now outside attack. And they're gonna, that was a touch at the net. That was a kill for number eight, Kenzie Schoen. 12-8, matches the largest lead for Kemper as they lead by four. They led earlier five to one. And now it's 12-8. Outside attack, pushed over by Wegner. Baiting with it and Kiergaard couldn't handle that attack. 13-8 is the score. Five point lead for Kemper and coach Ellie Kreese wants to take a timeout and talk things over as there's some momentum gaining for the Knights at 13 to eight. So we're gonna take a quick little break here and we'll be back with more volleyball action as you're watching Cyclone Activities on HLTV Channel 15. Programming brought to you by these great sponsors. Clark Arnhold State Farm Insurance and Financial. Keast Motors. Quick RX Pharmacy. Cyclone Lanes. Shelby County State Bank. United Bank of Iowa. Holly Jones Funeral Homes. KNOD Radio. Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance, and the Peterson Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex.
Okay, welcome back Cyclone fans. Out of the timeout, it will be Kemper serve in the lead at 13 to eight. Serve there by number four, Cameron Venner. Little roll shot by McLaughlin. Little slide move by number 10, Sophie Bating. 14-8 Knights. Venner with the serve and that's out of bounds. 14-9 is the score. Cyclones trailing by five. Claire Schmitz back to serve for the Cyclones. And there's gonna be an unforced error on the Knights. That's number 19, Kenya Prescott, the defensive specialist. Couldn't handle serve receive and that gives the Cyclones a point as they trail by four, 14-10. There's a ace by the Cyclones. So the timeout maybe proves to be effective here as it stopped the Kemper momentum. And now the Cyclones are starting to mount some momentum of their own at 14-11. Nice little rally here by the Cyclones, keeping the ball alive. Cyclones got to get something going here. Back set to Wagner. Baiting at the net, and that's going to be long, out of bounds. Hitting air by the Knights, and the Cyclones within two at 14-12. Claire Schmidt serving for Harlan Community. There's going to be an overpass, battle at the net. And the Cyclones coming back. 14-13 Knights. Down five, it was 14-9, and now it's 14-13. McLaughlin at the net. And off the block goes out of bounds, and things are tied up at 14 apiece. A nice little run here by the Cyclones to tie things up in set number one. Largest lead of the first set is five by Kemper. Baiting on the little slide move. Cyclone's trying to keep things alive and that one goes into the net. Maybe should have just free balled that over. So another error on the Cyclones which gives Kemper the lead 15-14. Prescott to serve for the Knights. McLaughlin at the net. And a kill for Lauren McLaughlin. And things are all tied up at 15 apiece here in set number one. Musich back to serve for the Cyclones. Ball gets pushed back to the back corner. Cyclones keeping it alive. And a wind up on Kenzie Schoen. Now a kill by Zofie Hendricks. Zofie Hendricks gives the Cyclones a lead at 16-15. Musich again with the serve. Roll shot at the net, and that's Shelly Sisson trying to push it over, and it goes wide, out of bounds. Another unforced air by the Cyclones, which allows things to get tied back up at 16 apiece. Ooh. 
Schmitz is going to short set Sisson. Sisson gets it over for Harlan Community. They're going to go to Wagner, and it's partially blocked at the net. Over to Schoen. Schoen with the roll shot into the donut area. And it's going to be a point for the Knights as they take the lead 17-16 over Harlan Community. And the Cyclones... Unforced errors, they pass that into the net. Macy Schmitz can't quite dig it out of there, so it's a point for Kemper and a two-point lead, 18-16. Cyclone's just kind of getting out of system, can't get that first pass to the center. Now we'll try and get something going here and still kind of bunched up out of system. Now Kemper is going to attack at the net with baiting. Hendricks with the roll shot is blocked and they're going to call number nine in the net. That is Casey Peter, the sophomore, was in the net giving the Cyclones a point, 18-17. Oh, they won straight down by number six, Franny Glenn, the sophomore. And the Cyclone Libero. Kiergaard can't get that one dug in the back row. 19-17 is the score. A, Cyclones just have to free ball that over. Now attack the net by Peter. Cyclones do a nice job of getting that dug. And then there's a little roll shot by number four, Zofi Hendricks. She gives the Cyclones a point, and they're back within one at 19-18. Kiergaard now to serve for the Cyclones. And that's a kill for number four, Cameron Venner, the 5'6'' senior. And it's 20-18. to 18. And those of you that watch volleyball a lot, you hear this, usually the first one to 20 is the winner. Hopefully the Cyclones can kind of break that. And there is a point for Harlan Community as Zofie Hendricks got it. So 20 to 19. So again, see if the Cyclones can break that wise tail of the first one to 20 wins the match. Cyclones trail by one. And there's a kill by Claire Schmitz, and that ties things up at 20 apiece. Fourth tie of the night. Hendricks now to serve. See if the if Hendricks can get the Cyclones on top here with the lead. And there's a hit into the net. Unforced air by Harlan Community gives Kemper the lead, 21-20. Number nine, Casey Peter with the serve. Cyclones just push it over. And they're gonna do a little slide move and that is off the Cyclone block. That is number 10, six foot Sophie Baiting. And it's 22-20, Kemper. Cyclones just gonna free ball this over. They're going to go right back to baiting, and that's out hitting air on the night. Cyclones within one, 22 21. Macy Schmitz now rotates back to serve for the Cyclones. And the Cyclones can't keep that one alive on their side of the net. 23-21. And there's going to be a timeout called by the Cyclones. Try and get things settled down here on their side of the net and maybe 
get uh, Kemper out of some rhythm as the Knights lead 23-21. Been a pretty close match here so far in set number one. Kemper has had the largest lead of five a couple different times. Cyclones have battled back. They've never led by more than one, but they're right in here at 23-21. So out of the timeout, it will be Kemper with the serve. Number four, Cameron Venner, the 5'6 senior, will be serving. The Cyclones come out of their timeout. And they're ready for serve, receive. So here we go. Venner to serve. Two-point lead for Kemper, 23-21. And that one, Zofie Hendricks can't handle that serve. And now it is set point at 24-21. Cyclone's got to get that serve received and that first pass to the setter to get some offense set up. And that one is out of bounds. Zofie lets that one go and good decision. 24-22. And now Kemper is going to return the favor with a timeout and try and get the Cyclones out of sync. Kemper 24. Harlan Community 22. Both teams quick out of the timeout here. Serving for the Cyclones will be number 14, senior Claire Schmitz. Again, this is a best three out of five. With these first ones going to 25 and there's set point as Claire serves that one out of bounds. So the Kemper takes set number one, 25-22 over Harlan Community to take a one set to none lead. So we're gonna take a little break here and we'll be back with more volleyball action as you're watching Cyclone Athletics on HLTV Channel 15. Programming brought to you by these great sponsors. Clark Arnhold State Farm Insurance and Financial, Keith Motors, Quick RX Pharmacy, Cyclone Lanes, Shelby County State Bank, United Bank of Iowa, Holly Jones Funeral Homes, KNOD Radio, Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance and the Peterson Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex. Welcome back Cyclone fans. Getting ready for set number two here from Harlan Community High School Gym. Cyclones went down in set number one, 25-22 to the Knights of Kemper Catholic. Referees are getting the lineups checked here. Will be Kemper's serve to start the second set. Starting the serving is number 19, Kenya Prescott. And the official whistle's ready for play and Prescott will have the first serve of set number two. McLaughlin from the right side gets it over. And now at the net was an attack by number nine, Peter. Cyclones doing a good job of keeping that ball alive. Roll shot by Wegner. Over to Schoen. That's long out of bounds. And Harlan Community takes the lead one to nothing.
McLaughlin back to serve for the Cyclones. You know, go right over to Schoen. Schoen on the cross court attack, and that's Kiergaard that can't come up with the dig in the back row. It's going to tie things up at one apiece. And now you have Ashlyn Bading serving for Kemper. Oh, Shelby Sisson that was going to try and tip it at the net, and she tips it into the net. Hitting air for the Cyclones as Kemper takes a 2 to 1 lead. Hendricks tips it at the net. Schoen pushes it to the back corner. Now the Cyclones on the attack, and it's kind of a game of tips at the net, and the Cyclones finally come away with the point. Zofi Hendricks there ties it up at two apiece. Wegner with the serve for Harlan Community. And then again, Kiergaard, the libero, struggling a bit in the back row to come up with some of the attacks of Kemper as the Knights take a 3-2 lead. This is going to be a set at the net that went over, and now Kemper is going to try to attack. Little slide move there by the Knights. Cyclones free ball it over. And that is number four. Cameron Venner off the Cyclone block gets the kill, and it's a four to two Kemper lead. Shown with the serve. Cyclones on the attack here. That's Hendricks. And that's off the Kemper block, out of bounds. And it's a kill for Zofi, 4-3 Kemper. Kiergaard to serve now for Harlan Community. See if the Cyclones can get some offense going here. Back row attack by Wegner. Venner on the cross court attack and again, Kiergaard kind of struggling in that back row there to keep things alive. 5-3 is the Kemper lead. And there's a serve into the net by number six sophomore Franny Glenn. That gets the Cyclones back within one at 5-4. Henrik serving now for Harlan Community. McLaughlin, and she gets a kill off the Kemper block, and it's all tied up at five apiece. Henrik serving now for the Cyclones, and that one's out. Long service air for. Harlan Community gives Kemper the lead at 6-5. Casey Peters serving, and that one's going to go out of bounds. So back-to-back -back service errors. It'll tie things back up for a fourth time here in set number two. Macy Schmitz now serving for the Cyclones. Venner on that left side. Cyclones are going to have to just roll shot this over, see if the Knights take advantage. And there was a touch at the net. Venner on the attack goes off the Cyclone block for a kill. And now Kemper leads 7 6. Number four, Cameron Venner 
serving for Kemper. And now Claire Schmitz pushes it over, and there's an error as Claire pushed it over, but got on the wrong side of the line there and is out of bounds. 8 6 Knights. Well, he tried going short set to McLaughlin. <clears throat> McLaughlin a lot of times has the height advantage, but on the other side of the net tonight is number 10, Sophie Bating, six foot junior. And she had the block for a point nine six Knights. And they're gonna call Harlan Community in the net. Ten six. Four point lead for Kemper. Outside attack by Wegner, and that goes off the block and gives Harlan Community a point. 10-7 as they trail by three. Cyclones needed to stop the run that was going on there by Kemper, and then Claire Schmitz back to serve. Little bit of an errant pass by Kemper. Gives the Cyclones the point, and they're back within two at 10-8. And they're going to short set baiting, and baiting sees the double block there at the net. And Cyclones did a good job of hustling there as they got a little pancake, and then right down the line is a kill for number eight, Kenzie Schoen. 11 to 8, three point night lead. Number 19, Kenya Prescott. Rotating all the way around to serve for the second time in this set. And Cyclones, Sisson hits that one into the net for another unforced air for the Cyclones. 12-8, four point lead for the Knights. Back set to McLaughlin. That's blocked, but the Cyclones keep it alive. Little back row attack by Hendricks. There's gonna be a battle at the net. Cyclones trying to keep it alive. Hendricks again with a roll shot over. Little slide move. A slide by Kemper, and there's Schoen. And Schoen hits one down the line. This matches the largest lead of the night of five as we get to a score of Carol Kemper 13, Harlan Community eight. Cyclones down by five. They trailed by five in set number one as well, but worked themselves right back into it. So we'll see if uh, out of the timeout, the Cyclones can stop the momentum that Kemper has built and gets some momentum of their own going here. It'll be Prescott to serve out of the timeout. Harlan Community is going to take every second of this timeout, I think, that they can to again break that momentum that Kemper has going here in set number two. Things are whistled ready for play. Again, Prescott serving for Kemper. Schmitz is going to set up Wagner. Wagner just pushes it over. Now on the offensive attack, and no one was there. So it's just a free ball over. See if the Cyclones can take advantage. Sisson on the attack, but on the double block, it's back over on the Cyclone side. Free ball over by the Cyclones. And they're going to go out to Schoen. She pushes it over, and that's in. Schoen saw the block there on that far side and saw the vacant area over here and she just pushes it across the net for a kill and point. 
14-8. Six point lead for the Knights. And they're gonna go right back to Schoen. Schoen with the roll shot. McLaughlin on the attack and there's gonna be a lift call. Point Harlan Community. 14-9 as they trail by five. Musich back to serve for the Cyclones. There's a little tip at the net by number six, Glenn. They're gonna go outside to Schoen. Schoen hits one nice dig there in the back row by Kiergaard. And somebody's in the net for the Cyclones. And we're gonna say two touches. Unforced air on the Cyclones. 15-9, six point lead for the Knights. Kemper free balls it over. See if the Cyclones can take advantage here. Back set to Wagner. And there's gonna be one that's blocked and then pushed over by number eight, Kenzie Schoen. She tips that too far wide and out of bounds and it gives the Cyclones the point. They're within five, 15-10. A little short serve by Wagner. Gets Kemper out of system, so they just free ball it over. And now the Cyclones on the attack. Hendricks down the line. <laughs> Zofie Hendricks with the kill. 15-11 is the Kemper lead. And Kemper has seen enough. Is they want to take a timeout as they can feel the Momentum growing there. Head coach Keith Stickrod says before things get going too much, we're gonna try and stop things. Meanwhile, in the other huddle, Ellie Kreese is talking to her team about keeping things going. And out of the timeout, the Cyclones will have the serve with Delaney Wegner back at the service line. Knights 15, Cyclones 11 as Wagner gets ready to serve. Kemper just free balls that one over, see if the Cyclones can take advantage and they go to Sisson. Sisson blocked at the net. Roll shot over by Schmitz and they're gonna go right at the net. Nice block by Sisson as number six, Franny Glenn got it blocked, both teams. Got some height out there on that front row. So the attackers got to see where that block is on the other side. Wagner with the serve, 15-12. Kemper. Outside to Hendricks. Hendricks with a little roll shot. Free ball over by the Knights. See if the Cyclones take advantage. Back row attack by Musich. And then there's a point by Kemper's number six, Franny Glenn. 16-12. Shown to serve for Kemper. And then there's gonna be two touches called on Wagner there, unforced air by the Cyclones, 17-12. Five point deficit for Harlan Community. Hendricks on the attack off the Kemper block goes out of bounds for Harlan Community point. 17-13, Knights. Cyclones gotta get some Got to get a roll going here as Kiergaard is back to serve. Venner with the kill. Again, Cyclones in that back row. Trying to 
get some digs on the Kemper attacks. 18-13, five point Kemper lead. Free ball over by the Cyclones. Now Kemper's gonna go on attack and there's Casey Peter the kill, and there's Zofi Hendricks with the kill off the double block of Kemper, but it comes down on the night side of the floor. 18-14, Kemper. Hendricks to serve now for the Cyclones. It's gonna have to just be a free ball over for the night. Cyclones gotta take advantage here. Short set to Claire Schmitz. Dug in the back row, then just quickly passed over, tried getting the Cyclones off guard. And that was McLaughlin kind of mistimed things, but got into a little void area and Kemper couldn't come up with it. And the Cyclones back within three, 18-15. Outside by Venner. Cyclones free ball it over. And there's a block at the net. And the Cyclones come away with the point. That was number nine, Casey Peter, the 5'9 sophomore. And the Cyclones are within two, 18-16. They're coming back. They were down five, 18-13. Three point run and there's a block at the net by Claire Schmitz. And it's 18-17, Cyclones back within one. Cyclones gotta keep riding the momentum that they got built here. Baiting gets it over for Kemper and now it's McLaughlin at the net and she has a roll shot blocked and Kiergaard can't handle it off the block. 1917. Kemper with the lead. And there's an ace serve. 20 to 17. Number nine, Casey Peters serving for the Knights. And there's one at the net, a little overpass. And that was a little bit of a mismatch right at the net. You had number 10, Sophie Baiting at six foot and Macy Schmitz on the other side. Baiting wins the joust at the net and gives Kemper the point and extends their lead to 21-17. Four point lead for Kemper here in set number two. The Knights took set one, 25-22 and they have the lead here in set number two, 21-17. Cyclones have kind of struggled in that three to four to five point deficit for quite some time now, all the way back from when it was 12-8 with the Kemper lead. Now it's a four point lead for Kemper, 21-17, and out of the timeout. It proves costly for the Knights as number nine, Casey Peters, serves it right in the net and the Cyclones need to make hay now. 21-18, down three. Macy Schmitz with the serve. They're gonna bump set it over to Venner. Venner gets it across. Cyclones are gonna have to free ball it over. And they're gonna go right back to Venner and off the touch. Partial block goes out of bounds. So it'll be a point for the Knights and they have a 22-18 lead. As Venner does go back to serve. Claire Schmitz hits one long out of bounds. 23-18. Five point Kemper lead. 
That one's long out of bounds. Service error. Kemper gives the Cyclones life here. 23-19. Claire Schmitz with it at the service line. They're going to go to baiting. Baiting hammers it. Six foot junior. 24 19. And Prescott back at the service line for Kemper. And there's an overpass. And right at the net was number six, Franny Glenn to tip it down. And they're going to say in the net something there. So it's 24 20. Cyclones have life. Otherwise, that would have been match point. McLaughlin to serve. And that one's going to be out of bounds as it goes outside the antenna. Cyclones still alive. 24 21. And. Kemper is going to take a timeout. Key stick rod says enough of that. Meanwhile, the Cyclones are going to keep the old mo going over there, the old momentum. It's 24 21. So, out of the timeout, the Cyclones will have the serve. And it's Lauren McLaughlin back at the service line. And there's a kill at the net by Franny Glenn. And 25-21 is the score in set two as Kemper takes a two set to none lead over your Harlan Community Cyclones. So we're going to take a quick break here and we'll be back with set number three. You're watching Cyclone Volleyball on HLTV Channel 15. Programming brought to you by these great sponsors. Clark Arnhold State Farm Insurance and Financial. Keith Motors. Quick RX Pharmacy. Cyclone Lanes, Shelby County State Bank, United Bank of Iowa, Holly Jones Funeral Homes, KNOD Radio, Shelby County Farmers Mutual and Century Farm Insurance, and the Peterson Wellness Center and Lewis Family Aquatic Complex. Welcome back, Cyclone fans, as we're getting ready for set number three to begin. Right now, the Kemper Knights have a two sets to none lead over your Harlan Community Cyclones. Kemper took set one, 25-22. And then they went and took set number two as well by a score of 25-21. to 21. The Cyclones to serve here to start set number three. Officials are getting the lineup cards and we'll be checking the rotations out there here momentarily and then we'll get ready for that first serve. Cyclones got to get this set to extend the match here tonight or it'll be a 3-0 
loss to the Knights. Again, these two teams met just three days ago at the South Central Calhoun tournament. Kemper came away in pool play with the win. They played best out of three, and Kemper won 21-14 and 21-15. Tonight it's Hawkeye 10 action, so it's best out of five. And things are whistled ready for play, and it's Lauren McLaughlin back at the service line for the Cyclones. And that first one is out of bounds. Service air on the Cyclones. <laughs> Number two. Ashlyn Bating serving. There's going to be touch over the net and well, they're going to say wait a second the referees are going to talk so we'll see what the call is here and they're going to call a replay Now the officials are over at the score table kind of looking at maybe some rotations or who's where. And now I think we got everything squared away and we're ready for play. And the score is one to nothing Kemper as we replay the point. And there's going to be a free ball over by Harlan Community. And that's going to be... A point for Kemper. Two to nothing. And there's Shelby Sisson with the kill off the block. Wagner back to serve now for the Cyclones. Cyclones need to get offense here as they go right to Zofie Hendricks and Zofie Hendricks with the kill for the Cyclones. And that gets things all tied up at two apiece. Wagner again with the serve. And they go outside to Peter. A little overpass by the Cyclones. And now Schoen hits one cross court. Sisson with the tip at the net. And it's going to be a lift call against Kemper. And the Cyclones have the lead. Three to two. Shown with a little roll shot. Cyclone's keeping it alive, and it's going to be two touches. Uh, she's going to call a lift, I guess. Unforced error by the Cyclones, and that ties things up at three apiece. Shelby Sisson on the attack. Free ball over by the Knights. Short set to Sisson, blocked at the net, and the Cyclones aren't going to be able to keep that alive. Four, three, Kemper. And there's a block at the net, little double block there. It was Glenn and Peter at the net. 
blocking Henrik's attack. And it stayed in bounds, so it's a 5-3 lead for the Knights. Hendricks pushes it over for the Cyclones. Venner now on that left side. Cyclones keep it alive. And there's another block by the same tandem. Score is 6-3, a three-point lead for Kemper. And that one's going to be long, out of bounds, shown with the service air. It gives the Cyclones a point, 6-4. Cyclones within two. As Kiergaard rotates back to serve. Venner on that left side. Cyclones keep it alive and be a roll shot over for Harlan Community. At the net and a kill for number six, Franny Glenn. Three point Kemper lead, 7 4. Glenn now back to serve, hits the net and rolls over. So sometimes the net's your friend, sometimes it's the foe, and this time it was the friend of Kemper and the foe of Harlan Community. Rolls over and it's a four point lead for Kemper, 8-4. And the Cyclones. Service receive air. Nine four is the score. And there's an overpass by the Cyclones. Peter on the attack and she hits it right into the net, hitting air on Kemper. Four point night lead, nine five. Sophie Hendricks rotates back to serve now for Harlan Community. Baiting. It's taking advantage of the Cyclone back row there. Kiergaard can't get to that again. And Coach Kreese wants to take a timeout and I think talk about some alignment about where the block is and where the back row is getting lined up off of the block as Kemper has doubled up the Cyclones 10 to five. Here in set three, again, Cyclones down two sets to none. Kemper won the first set 25-22 and one set two 25-21. And here in set three, it's 10-5 in favor of Kemper. So out of the timeout, it'll have number nine, Casey Peter, the 5'9 sophomore, back at the service line. Short set to Schmitz, and they're gonna Say four touches as that attack hit went into the net. 11 5. Kemper. McLaughlin tries sending one down and she does. Lauren McLaughlin with the kill. 11 to 6 is the score. Cyclones down by five and need to. Make something happen here as Macy Schmitz rotates back to serve for the Cyclones. That's Wegner with the kill attempt and there's a battle at the net. 
There's going to be four touches on Kemper. 11 to 7. Cyclones within four. Need to chip away here. As again, Macy Schmitz back serving for Harlan Community. Baiting on the slide move. And there's a block at the net. Besides, I think it went into the net, and that's what the call is. Baiting's attack went in the net and gives the Cyclones a point, 11 to 8. McLaughlin on the attack, but there's a block and there's a battle at the net. Two touches is the call on Kemper. And the Cyclones have battled back here. They're down two, 11 to nine. They were down six, 11 five, and Cyclones with a service error hit it in the net. 12-9 is the score. And we're going to rotate back with number four, Venner, back serving. And there's an ace serve for the Knights. It clipped the net, and then McLaughlin nor Kiergaard could come up with the serve receive. 13-9 is the score. A little overpass by the Cyclones and now shown on the attack. Dug nicely by Kiergaard. McLaughlin with the kill attempt and then on the dig by the Knights. Got up in the air and no one went after the second touch. So the Cyclones come away with the point and they trail by three, 13-10 as Claire Schmitz goes back to serve. Free ball over by Kemper. Cyclones need to use something here. A little tip at the net by Wegner. Shown with it on the left side, and she has a little roll shot. Each team kind of getting a little out of system here, and that's going to be four touches. That didn't get over the net by at all. So hitting air by Kemper, 13-11. Cyclones within two as Schmitz is still back at the service line. And there's another hitting air. Passing becoming a problem here for the Knights as the Cyclones are within one, 13-12. Claire with the serve. That one clips the net. And that's going to be called a Two touches, another unforced air on the Knights and things are all tied up at 13 apiece. Cyclones down six at one time in this set, 11 to five have battled back to tie it up 13 all. There's another passing air by the Knights and then the Cyclones kind of fall asleep there and just on a little pass over don't get the backside cover. Zofi tried getting it, but gives the point to Kemper at 14-13. There's going to be any serve for the Knights. So just as the Cyclones were getting some momentum going and tying things up at 13 apiece, now Kemper has the lead 15-13. There's a service error by Kemper, out of bounds. Cyclones within one, within one, 15, 14. See if they can get things going here. Number two, Savannah Musich in serving. Cyclones kind of get stymied there as number six Franny Glenn hits one cross court. Not real hard, but just 
caught the Cyclones kind of looking and the Knights have a 16-14 lead. And Sisson mistimes the short set. Seventeen fourteen Kemper. Number two, Ashlyn Bading serving for the visitors. Schoen hits one off the block of the Cyclones out of bounds, and it's a kill for Schoen, 18 14. Outside attack by Hendricks. But right there was number nine, the sophomore Casey Peter with the block. 19-14, Kemper, five point deficit for the Cyclones. But the Cyclones were down six earlier at 11 to six and battled back to tie things up at 13 apiece. And since then the Knights have gone on a six to one run to take a 19 to 14 lead here in set number three. Out of the timeout, it will be Kemper with the ball on the service line. Serving for the visitors is number two, Ashlyn Bating. 5'7", junior. Officials whistle ready for play, and here comes the serve out of the timeout. Cyclones on the back set to Wegner. Wegner with a cross court kill. Delaney Wegner with the kill. 19 15. Cyclones down four. And Delaney Wegner rotates back to serve for the Cyclones. Cyclones got to make some stuff happen here quickly. They're going to go outside to Peter, Casey Peter, with the attack. And now to Lauren, or excuse me, Zofie Hendricks. Both teams getting some good swings on it. And that's going to be Sohn. Kenzie Sohn with the kill. Cyclones couldn't get that attack dug in the back row. And it's 20 to 15 again. That infamous number in volleyball and there's a service error by Schoen giving the Cyclones an unforced error point. Now it's 20 to 16, Cyclones down by four. Madison Kiergaard rotating back to serve for Harlan Community. Gonna go outside to Venner. Cyclones just free ball it over. Oh, a roll shot, that's hit down and hard by number six, Franny Glenn, the 5'10 sophomore, 21-16. Cyclones down by five as Glenn rotates back to serve for Kemper. Cyclones are gonna set up Hendricks. Baiting now with the Kill attempt, dug in the back row by Kiergaard. Then the Cyclones try and just back set it over, but they back set it out of bounds, giving the Knights the point at 22-16. Down six are the Cyclones. Casey Peters with a cross court kill. Attempt dug nicely by Delaney Wegner. Baiting with the kill for the Knights. Sophie Baiting, six foot junior. 23 16 is the score. Knights with the lead here in set three. A short set to clear Schmitz, blocked at the net. Cyclones just have to free ball it over. Now 
The Knights on the attack. And that's baiting again on the slide. Twenty-four sixteen. Knights with the lead. And that's Macy Schmitz with the kill as she had a little set right over the net. Twenty-four seventeen. Sophie Hendricks with the serve. Claire Schmitz with the kill. Claire Schmitz gives the Cyclones a point, 24-18. Cyclones down six. Venner on the left side. Cyclones keeping it alive here. Back row attack by Hendricks. Baiting at the net and Kemper fans wanted a lift call there. Venner again on that left side and that one's in. And Venner with the kill. Gets the Knights to 25. 25. 18 is the score in set three. So Kemper Knights are going to come into town and take the Hawkeye 10 match away from the Cyclones. Three sets to none. Cyclones went down in set number one, 25-22. Then in set two, they were defeated 25-21. And then in set three, the Knights wrapped things up 25-18. So with the loss it will drop the cyclones to 10 and 7 on the year for matches and it will improve kemper to 12 wins and or excuse me yeah 12 wins and four losses in match play on the season so a great game here tonight but unfortunately kemper won away with the victory cyclones will get back uh, to play on thursday night down in atlantic so this has been John North on the camera. Bill Mueller on the play-by-play. -play. You've been watching Cyclone Volleyball on HLTV Channel 15, where it's always great to be a Cyclone.